At Baker Hughes, our employees build a winning culture through developing skills, leading teams, collaborating together, and caring for our customers and our people. In today's HSN topic, we will discuss best practices for forklift operations. Before starting work, make sure to communicate the task at hand with all team members involved. Enter the forklift with three points of contact and conduct the pre-inspection steps on the forklift checklist. Familiarize yourself with the work area, looking for obstructions, ramps, and other hazards. Utilize spotters to help check your surroundings. Inspect the tote cage for deformities or sharp edges that may puncture adjacent totes. Approach the tote slowly, working to line the forks up with the entry points. Forks can come in standard sizes and long sizes. Double check that the forks will not stick out the back of the tote. Use a spotter to assist as necessary. Notice the tote is rectangular with one side longer than the other. Entering the tote facing the longer side will prevent forks from sticking out the back side. On the other hand, if you were to enter the tote from the shorter side, the forks will extend out the back, potentially puncturing anything behind. The tote cage acts as tip over bars, securing the tote to the forks. The same procedures hold true for stainless totes, except for entry from only one side due to a valve in the way. Enter through the side with tip over bars to avoid hitting the valve. Notice only one set of tip over bars is available. Secure the tote to the forklift with a ratchet strap. Verify the strap is able to handle the load capacity. Hook each side of the strap to the forklift cage to secure the tote. To tighten, unlock the ratchet by pulling the handle. Once the mechanism is free, operate the ratchet to tighten. To loosen, the grooves must click into place. Pull the handle and move the ratchet into position for the grooves to click. Before moving the forklift, ensure your field of vision is not obstructed. Larger totes may block your line of sight and thus require you to maneuver backwards with a team of spotters. Use journey management to pre-plan the route that will be taken to transport the tote. Pre-planning your route will mitigate risk with a load on your forklift. Drive cautiously as partially filled totes may have liquid movement that change the center of gravity, leading to a potential tip over event. Ensure there is adequate space to the left, right, and rear to prevent puncturing adjacent totes. Line up the tote cage and set the tote. The cage should securely lock in. Totes should be stacked in kind based on size, type, product, and chemical compatibility. For additional questions and procedures, please contact your local HSNA manager.